Alright guys, uh, uh, welcome to the second episode of the Hunt for 99 Slayer series. First of all, here I have Greater Demons. Now, I don't know if I showed you guys this last uh, episode, but I did get this task. I had around like 100 something, maybe 200. But yeah, I'm not going to be using a pack yak for this. I'm using my bandos and fire cape and random stuff like that. Not random, but just normal stuff. Uh, whip, uh, no chaotic, trying to save charges for like to conserve money. I'm not using a pack hack either to bank these ashes. I am doing this mainly for profit if you don't know that by now. So if I were to use a pack hack, the scrolls are like 400 GP each and so are the ashes. So if I was to use a pack hack, I'd make no money at all. And that'd be kind of a waste. That'd just basically be not trying to pick up ashes. So I'm just going to pick them up. When I have a full inventory, I run east, go outside, walk downstairs, uh, use the fairy rings to Xanders and bank over there, then use the fairy rings back over here not using the uh, Cadero's rings, I think that's what they're called, the Telbird back here. Don't have enough of those, of those rings, I only have like seven of them, so saving those too. Combat potion, nothing too extreme, not using even supers or something, just very cheap stuff. I am uh, flashing turmoil and soul split even though I don't need to, just to speed up some kills, helps a lot. All right. Alright, so we have killed a bunch of them. The task is not over, but I just wanted to give you guys some update. Uh, I'm still collecting the ashes. I'm using the Xander, Xander's bank to bank them, and I have collected this much. All the other room for ones I had, and keeping this one over here for Slayer, specifically for that. So, um, in the gem bag, I actually got a sapphire. It's pretty weird, but yeah. We're going to keep all the gems in here, too. All uh, the anything expensive I get over here. Now, this may seem a bit newbie. I mean, I have a couple rares and stuff, and I'm collecting accursed ashes. It, it may seem somewhat kind of not what my player level would do, but I'm still doing this just to get max profit in. Another thing, I did cancel. I had aberrant specters. Well, let me show you how much I have left right now. I don't keep the slayering on me. It's just going to take up space, and I'd rather keep as much as I can. So, 95 loves. Alright, so Aberrant Spectres over here, it was in one of my deleted tasks, meaning I could not get it anymore, but I switched that and it's not there anymore, and now I can get it because Aberrant Spectres do drop quite a bit of herds, and that could come in pretty good profit, actually, Mo uh, better than most tasks, in my opinion, so I just canceled that out, meaning I would get it now. So, yeah. Oh, finally got something decent, a clue scroll at least. The only thing I've gotten from this task was a run for home so far. Uh, uh, if I haven't told you guys this, but let me just pull it up really quickly. Uh, over here in the little drop thing, uh, I have recorded these, if you don't know. Uh, jab room. Uh, right here. Here it is. I did get a clue from Blood Bells, and I forgot to tell you guys this, but I am keeping track of what I get from the clue scroll. I rounded it, because I don't really know if this was the exact value, but I rounded it to around 80k, and, same with, and I added 80k into that. Same with that one, but I'm going to keep track from now on. Yeah, so when I, once I do this clue scroll, I'm going to put uh, notable drops. Clue scroll, just put it right there right now, actually. I actually do hard clue. And I put the value in there. And boom. And then we'll have a total in there. So, yep. Alright, so finally done this task. I really hated that, to be honest. <sighs> finally, let's get another task. What do we get? Hold on. Ah, okay. Mike was in the face. Dang it, I didn't. Oh, was that Dagonoth? Dude. Alright, so. Dagonoth, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I got a choice here now. Now, I could do, in theory, uh, what are those called? Dagonoth Kings, but I have no idea how to do those. I did those, like, a couple times. I went there for, like, once to see how it would go. And really, it went, like, terrible. I got, like, four kills. I was just like, oh my gosh, so. Probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna stick with Dagnoth Kings. I mean, not da that's what I just said. I don't want to do. So I'm probably gonna just stick with just normal Dagnoth and just see how it goes. I mean, I don't want to. Oh, gotta do that, do that clue scroll too. So yeah, let's just price check this uh, little task really quickly. Got this. We got this. We got some gems. I'm not gonna care about that. And some money. Uh, take it off. Price check it. We would draw others. Just a uh, press check. I know that's not going to be a lot. It was a terrible task. It just wasn't worth it. Alright, 158k. Not too bad.
for a greater demon task. Too, too long, but doesn't matter. Worth it. Okay, so I finally decided I'm probably not going to be doing Dagnoth Kings, uh, just because of the reason, because... Well, I don't know how to do them, first of all. I got like four kills when I tried them. And the second reason, basically my internet has been lagging a lot. And, well, not lagging, I mean. Uh, well, I did restart my computer and my computer has a problem, apparently, where it like doesn't... It, the internet keeps getting lost for some apparent reason, and I don't know why. So I just, just quit that. I'm just gonna like, just do this, because I lag out like every five minutes, so just, yeah. Um, I'm using some Bandos gear, using my Balamung, it's kind of fast. Oh, I forgot the stupid Bone Crusher again. I'm not gonna bank, I only have like, I killed one, so I have like 225, so 226, I had those. Using Combat Pots, cheap, very cheap, if you don't know. Uh, just gonna flash Soul Spitting Turmoil up again. Bought a Gem Bag, finally remember that. No, actually I remember that every task. So yeah, let's see how well this goes, see if we get a rare drop. Alright, finally, let's price check this. It's not done. I still have like 74 or something left. Yeah, so. Oh, what the heck? Alright. Let's just price check this little thing right here. Got a couple of decently priced seeds. I'm not sure I haven't price checked them myself. I'm just going to do it with you guys right now. Alright, that's pretty actually. That is amazing. That's about, that's about the best money in this many kills I've made in the whole series so far. Well, I'm kind of excited about this. One of the best money maker tasks so far. I may actually do this. Nah. Okay, so we just have a couple left. If you know in the chat bar, but yeah, uh, this second trip I've done of Dagonoth wasn't too good. Only got like two irrit seeds, maybe or toad flax. Maybe I wasn't paying attention and didn't pick up something good. But I'm pretty sure I didn't get it. Uh, pretty annoying task in my opinion. Mainly because I can't do Dagonoth Kings. I think that's the only reason. If I could, I like I know I can, but I don't know how. That's the problem. All right, 240 tasks. Let's get another one. Basically, I don't know how because it's just one of those things. Like it's it's a boss that you gotta prepare all this for. And what the heck was that? Yeah, you gotta prepare a lot. And you just have to bring a lot of supplies, there's a lot of stuff to do in there. It's just it's not like Tormented Demons where you just do one thing. Well, I guess Tormented Demons are a bit complicated too, but that's another story. So let's get another task. Let's just price check some rewards, I guess, from this loot. I'm not sure. There's a clue scroll in my bank, it's hard when I'm, I don't know if it's from this task or not, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So 180s. What do we have? Like two, oh, yeah, 200. I already added that. I already added that. Notable drops, I don't think I really got anything, just put seeds down. Uh, what was that? Forget. 186k. 186k. Right, that's it, let's save this. Okay, let's just somehow see. I'm, I'm, I'll save it later, who cares? Okay, let's just get another task. That was weird. I, I have a recording, like, I tried to press Control S to save the document, but my, I, my stupid recorder, I set the shortcut key to save that recorder to control S, so when I pressed control S to save it, to save the document and instead save that clip, so I don't know what happened right there. Actually, I do, but yeah, could I, let's get another desk. I want somebody to give me a party yet so I can put it in that guy. Actually, no, don't do that, don't give me anything. That's dumb. Blood Vaults, oh my gosh, no, no, that's not a profitable task. I'm gonna actually delete that. Uh, nothing. Remove. Never assign. Right, I'm looking for profits mainly, so that's. What the crap? Stop bringing these things up. I don't need that. Steel dragons, yes! Somewhat decent. Kinda excited about that. Okay, let's do this. Okay, finally. Uh, man, that was a rough day, but. I don't know. Dude, I don't know what the pin is for this. BJQ. Yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. So, let's forget what I said about the day, but. Okay, we have range gear. I'm gonna range this. I do need some range XP. I only have 95 range. Uh, some basic range gear. I did sell my armadillo. I probably won't buy it back. Bought a different item. I may make a bank video soon. Explain what I bought. All right. So I have this for just healing purposes. Some normal anti fires. Do not bring a dragon fire if you're ranging because that just decreases your range accuracy. Do not have 90 agility. I only have 82. If I had 85, I'd probably boost and jump this straight gap. 
So just because I can't do that, I thought it'd be too much of a pain to keep banking bones, so I just bought a pack yak. Uh, still with jam bag. Dude, I'm getting hit by everything that... That's terrible. Except that one, he's a noob. Right, let's get there. Look at these noobs. They were not picking up their infernal ashes. I just picked them up. I'm not too much of a noob, but oh well. I'm gonna just make us. I don't even know what my task is. It doesn't matter because you can only kill one thing in here. So I just steal dragons. Alright, I drank this at the bank, accidentally clicked it. So, yeah. Uh, I am flashing. Let's see what I'm flashing. Right. Uh, range and defense and soul split. Let's see how this little trip goes now. That's awesome. Ferocious ring. Now I can teleport here back a couple more times. Uh, if I forgot to mention this to you guys, uh, up here you can see that little slayer thing. For up here, this is my normal XP, like 36 mil collected in there, the little XP bar thing. Down here is the slayer one. This is only going to be from the series I'm doing, and so 142k XP in there already. That's pretty good. That's actually awesome. I am banking some bones with the yak. Uh, almost banked that for some reason. All right, let's. Do more stuff. I have around 50 something left right now, like 49 now, probably. Guys, oh my god, I gotta show you this new method. I saw this guy, he was just killing steel dragons and using melee, and he was using basically this gear. I just thought I'd copy him and just like take his method and see what it would, if it would work good. And oh my god, it is so faster than range, and it's not as expensive as using prayer pots and turmoiling and using chaotics every time. It's so much better. Alright, so we got normal uh, bandos and super anti-fires instead and we're gonna use a Zamorak Spear since dragons are weak to stab it's a pretty good setup and when my HP gets low I'm gonna be flashing turmoil and soul split the whole time and if it gets too low I'll probably end up using an enhanced Excalibur spec and it goes pretty good uh... Pack Egg is still summoned he's alright I've seen some flaws in this method already I get dealt too much damage alright 112 defense that's probably why if I were to bring extreme pots, maybe that would have changed. Are these mine? Dang it, I don't know what he dropped. I'll just pick them both. These people need to pick up their drops. My knives. Alright, yep. Let's see how well this goes. Well, we only have a couple left, like... 11 more, so yeah. Alright, finally finished it. Terrible task. Well, not terrible, but... Kind of boring, let's... Actually, no. A af the ranging part was pretty boring but after I found the melee setup it's pretty good to be honest it's not it's not hard my HP stays at a constant high level I can just heal back and I haven't even used the enhanced Excalibur so yeah let's get another task now alright the task I really want is uh, what are those called abyssal demons come on I've never had that as a slayer test dang it ever inspectors I just deleted that task alright that's a pretty uh, profitable task but I really hate it what the heck was that some monsters she killed, but all right. So I really hate that task. I mean, it's pretty boring. I'm not gonna can it. Probably just gonna whip them down and maybe Zamrock spear them. It's pre I like this weapon. It's pretty cool. Stabbing is one of my favorite attack styles, and rapier has it, but I don't like the rapier too much, just because it's like, what's that word I'm looking for? It's overrated. A lot of people have it, and it's just not cool to use it. In my opinion, I hate it. Uh, that's probably the reason why I don't have it. I really like the longsword, but we're off topic now. Let's just, yeah, we're, we got that task, and, yep. Alright, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, well, that was the end of that video, but now let's move on to the question. This is my favorite part. Alright, so, next question we have is, let's see, we've already done that one. Ah, okay, here we go. Hey, I haven't played uh, RuneScape in a long time. I wanted to come back, but I'm so poor on it. If you can donate to me, that would be sweet, but if you can't, then... Can you give me some tips on making money? I'm level 103 and my bank is around 400k, but I haven't gotten my membership back yet. Alright, so first thing in that uh, question we have... He just came to RuneScape and... Okay, donation, uh, I really don't like to go near that th subject. If you guys don't know, uh, I don't g ask you guys for money, so you guys really shouldn't ask me for money. Uh, that's my opinion on that, but... For the making money part, if you guys really want money making methods, I have somewhat like decent amount of them. I can pretty much make them if you want. Uh, if you just want them, just tell me and just comment about it or something. I I can make some money making methods if you want. And my bank is 400k and I'm level 103. I would s strongly suggest first of all to do Slayer. The Slayer will raise your combat. It'll just make your account much stronger and it will make you money on the way there too. So Slayer would be the first thing I would recommend if 
not if you don't want to do that then some things you can do on the side is kingdom management and farm or herb runs I have a video on those it's pretty good methods you you should you should actually be doing those like daily it's not just to make money you should really be doing those two things daily and as for the membership part it's really worth getting membership on runescape because if you don't have it then that's just like runescape is like a demo or free to play is like a demo of runescape if you don't have that then you should really upgrade to that because I s seriously think that uh, free to play get like two percent of the content that members get and it's just really worth getting membership uh... next question we have is why aren't you 99 range yet uh... he's kidding about that but uh... range i really want to get that up i only have one something level four or three uh... prayer and four range levels to get till i'm max like really max i'm already 138 but max combat for that i really want to get that but it's just I have no use for range right now. If I really want to get that later, I'll work for it. But right now, it's useless to me. Uh, then he asks, "What's the best way to train my summoning level up? How or how or how can I get the best charms easily?" I really want something, so I ask you. Even if you can't remember, it's all good. All right, summoning XP or summoning levels. The best way to train them is probably through Slayer. But if you don't want to do that, you want to get just the charms uh, itself. Try doing either Water Fiends, like they're just good. Um, charms overall and if you really have the money you can even try rock lobsters barraging or bursting doesn't matter but I'm pretty sure you don't have the money I'm thinking you don't have the money since you ha don't have that something level so I would probably suggest doing slayer if not then just do water fiends for the charms but slayer is really the best way to go in everything for money combat XP and charms alright so if you guys have a question for me leave it in the comments I'll answer it in the next video or I'll reply to it in the comments and yeah and the question for the video is do you guys want me to make money making guides I know a lot of people struggle with money and I don't I know I don't have that much money but I do have like 320 mil bank or 330 whatever that was but I do know some money making methods if you want them you can just say if you want them I mean it, they won't be like extreme high money making methods like kill bosses or do like next each day or something it won't be that extreme but it'll be some money making methods that you should you could do and yep that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time